We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to make an announcement. Songbird has completed the Appalachian Trail. So awesome. ladder instead of rebar pounded into the rock. Pretty cool. We are in some mountainous, mountainous terrain and uh, I'm listening to, uh, I've downloaded real quick, uh, Born to Run, uh, Audible audiobook and uh, I've given it a shot listening to an audiobook on trail. And the beginning of the book is kind of eh. But, it's cool listening to it and uh, having something to focus on. Um, but uh, sometimes you have flowing brooks and creeks and pooling springs, and other times you have trips off of rocks. This is particularly good right here. I just filled up both bottles with. Took about five minutes. Um, don't do this. Spread all your stuff everywhere so there's no room for everyone else. Day two out of three getting into Hanover. Um, just really pretty terrain. Nice views. Came down the valley earlier and couldn't be bothered to take my phone out of the case to make it work. I really, really hate that when it's humid and I'm sweaty, the phone case just doesn't cooperate, but what a beautiful day. Uh, I got a little chafe on the inside of my right leg from where my underwear seam is rubbing it, but it's only on my right leg so far, knock on wood, and uh, that means I can deal with it. If both legs hurt when I step, that sucks. But if one hurts, that's all good. Shoes are giving me some trouble today. Um, on these uphills, my feet have been really sore. Um, I really miss my Cascadias. But, uh, they're not, they're not terrible. They're just not what I want to be wearing. So, I'm getting kind of eased into them again today after a few miles, but I really don't like it. Um, I'm just thinking, man, I can't wait to get back to my sandals when I get home. Um, I kind of wish I had them right now. Um, if I had had them as my backup shoes, I'd probably just be wearing those and maybe would not have replaced my sneakers. Oh. Anyway, pretty woods, good temperatures, nice breeze. So, made it down to, uh, what is it called, West Haverford, or, I don't know, but that's what I'm looking for right there, that blue barn. That's going to be my spot for the night, I think. I've done some running today, I've done some relaxing, done some slow walking, and uh, pretty tired, and uh, I'm very glad to be here at a place that I did not expect to see, but we heard about this morning. And that's some of the ways that the best things happen on trail is just all of a sudden. 
We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to make an announcement. Songbird has completed the Appalachian Trail. Yeah, yeah, whoa. See all my friends. Yep, everyone's here. And <laughs> I'm enjoying Hanover. I got a hotel room, and I am going to look at getting out of here probably tomorrow. I'm going to take that Hanover Express to Boston, Boston, and then take a plane home and get my car and then uh, drive up to Chattanooga and be home and be done with the trail. So thank you, everyone, for following along. I uh, love you all very much. Thank you for your support and your comments and your likes. It has been uh, very nice to see. completed the entire trail and I'm heading now on the Dartmouth uh, coach um, straight to the Boston airport and I'm gonna fly back to Atlanta today and I'll get my car from my parents house and I'll be driving back up to Chattanooga so anyways guys thank you for watching the channel thank you for um, subscribing and liking all the videos you guys have been a great audience and I uh, hope that you've uh, learned something or enjoyed the content. Um, probably going to shut the channel down until uh, the next hike comes around. Um, I don't have anything planned, nothing big, so um, probably just the next overnighter or something like that. Um, but I don't know when that'll be, so can't give you any plans. But if you uh, stay subscribed, the next video that comes out, um, you'll get a notification and uh, it'll be a surprise so uh, thank you guys if you have any questions um, please feel free to leave a question in the comments I don't know any other words to that song. So, um, I am heading home. These are, uh, if you're wondering what's in the camera here, these are my shoelaces from my first pair of Cascadia 12s. Uh, it was like my, um, set of shoes that I actually liked when I started hiking the AT, uh, in 2016. So, this is my little trail memento. It's my shoelaces from my first, like, real pair of hiking shoes. Anyway, heading home, I'm going to be back in Chattanooga just before my lovely fiancé Hadley goes to work for the night, and I'm going to start uploading these last videos, and I am so happy to be traveling 65, 70 miles an hour in a vehicle instead of just walking for months on foot and making very slow progress. It's a completely different thing, don't get me wrong, it's a lot of fun to be in the woods, but there's something truly satisfying about being able to just drive somewhere, and it's fantastic. I have been gorging myself on all the foods that I wanted when I was out hiking. I went and got this, like, Steak and Shake Frisco melt and just, like, was just couldn't stop grinning. I was just, like, drooling over it while I was eating it. It was amazing. I got a strawberry banana milkshake with real bananas in it. I've been getting pho and uh, calm and banh mi sandwiches and all kinds of stuff. It has been awesome. I love being home, especially after being away for quite some time. I can't wait to see my fiance and I can't wait to uh, get going here on what's next. Coming up 
after this, I don't know if I'm going to do any videos on it or anything. If you guys think that you would like that, then sure, I will go ahead and do something. But looks like uh, we're going to be driving to the Outer Banks here uh, in just like a week or two. And uh, we're going to drive out to the Outer Banks. We're going to drive on the sand with the Forester, this car. Hopefully, we don't get stuck at all. Um, hopefully, everything's cool. Hopefully, I can bring some fishing rods and catch some fish and bring some of my camping equipment and, you know, fry up some fish on the beach and all that kind of fun stuff. I'm going to be bringing the dog. I'm going to bring my big camera. I'm going to bring my GoPro. I'm going to bring my cell phone camera. And uh, just in case I want to be able to take underwater shots, if I want to set up time lapses and things like that. Um, I'm really very pretty excited. It was long overdue. I'm ready to spend some quality time. Um, but I do think there is an opportunity for a cool travel video about kind of overlanding in a Subaru and driving on the beach for maybe the entire island chain. But uh, let me know if you guys want to see anything like that uh, or if you think that belongs on a different channel or if you're just not interested. Anyway, thank you all so much. Like I said, this is the last installment in the hiking video. I'm on the trip home. Uh, love all of you very much. Thank you for your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, if any future hiking videos come out, my buddy that hiked with me in 2017 and I are talking about doing some hiking videos here and there together, which will be nice because you will get a cameraman and some nicer shots where I don't have to set the camera up on my trekking poles and stuff. I'm not going to come over there, and I'm not even going to lie, but if you step on it, I'll get you on the fly. You can hear my CB radio going. That is one of the things or mods that I've done to my Subi. I like to be able to have contacts outside of just having a cell phone. Uh, and uh, yeah, but sometimes it can be a little annoying when you are got someone in the car or if you're trying to record. So anyways, guys, I will see you in the next videos if there are next videos, if you guys want them. And uh, maybe I'll do an overview of everything I've had, I guess, again. But thank you for watching. I'll see you in next video. Bye-bye. Well, I sent my trekking poles and my knife home and they beat me here. Nice, huh?